I think that we actually get into trouble when we start thinking about destinations. Destinations imply being static, being still. Circumstances change, or we change. I was really into triathlons and marathons until I herniated a disc in my lower back and spent about a year of my life in chronic pain. I got back surgery and my doctor told me to find a new hobby, so I started hiking. I lost both my parents in the span of a year and a half and I was thrown into such a state of grief that I knew I needed to do something different and decided to leave my job and spend about a year on the road. And it was when I was in nature, I looked up one morning and I realized I wasn't actively grieving anymore. And I needed to share those skills and that freedom with as many women as I could. Sharing the experience of overcoming challenges I decided to start a meetup group so that I could make more friends to go on adventures with me. I would love for you to tell me the story of the most hilarious If you open your door one day and say that you are going on an adventure, then nothing that happens is inherently good or bad because it was part of the adventure. That's really the true journey. Anything that helps you break your routine is also going to help you gain new perspective. I don't think that you need to take a road trip across the country or live in a van to experience something life-changing. Especially living in LA, there's such a diverse range of landscapes. little milestones, doing a hike, or reaching a summit, or starting a campfire. Spending time outdoors allows you to learn new skills, but it also is a chance for you to find out what you're made of. There's no one lesson that it will teach you. Nature is powerful enough to hold whatever it is that you're carrying when you go there. When you essentially take a moment to step off the well-worn path of your life, getting out there and doing something different, go to whatever is new, go to whatever is unknown, and embrace that uncertainty. That's the part of you or your life that is unexplored. Metaphorically, the frontier is this wild, rugged place of extremes there's always a way to adapt. You don't have to look far to find your frontier. It can be right in front of you. 